As believers, the Bible tells us in Hebrews 1 that we are surrounded by countless angels, even though we can't see them with our eyes. These angels are sent by God to help us and protect us, even though they work behind the scenes and aren't always visible. In this video, I'm going to show you five subtle signs that might indicate you have angels near you. These signs are often small and easy to miss, but they can be powerful reminders of angelic presence. So let's dive in and discover how you might spot these heavenly helpers in your own life. Sign number one, unexpected body warmth. One sign that angels might be with you is feeling an unusual warmth in your body when you pray or worship. You might experience a warm sensation flowing through you or surrounding you. In the Bible, some angels, like the seraphim, are known for their fiery presence because of their intense passion for being in God's presence. The name seraphim actually comes from a Hebrew word that means to burn or to blaze. You might wonder if this warmth is actually the Holy Spirit rather than angels. The answer is yes, it could be both. The Holy Spirit often brings a sense of supernatural warmth, and angels frequently work alongside the Spirit. For example, the prophet Daniel described an angel he encountered as having a body like beryl, a face like lightning, and eyes like flaming torches. This fiery appearance brought a powerful heat. When you're deeply engaged in worship or prayer, angels often gather around you. This can make the spiritual atmosphere feel different, and you might notice a physical change as warmth. This warmth is a sign of the increased heavenly activity around you. So, when you feel that burning sensation or warmth during prayer or worship, it could be a sign that seraphim angels are nearby, worshiping God with you and filling the space with their fiery adoration. Number two, unexpected joy. Another sign that angels might be with you is when you suddenly feel a burst of joy or lightness during your prayer times. In Luke 2, an angel appears to the shepherds to announce the birth of Jesus, saying he brings good tidings of great joy. This shows that angels often bring supernatural joy to people. When you experience unexpected happiness or elation for no clear reason, it could be a sign that angels are visiting you. For example, when Sarah was told she would have a baby at an old age, she said, God has brought me laughter. The name Isaac, which means laughter in Hebrew, reflects this joyful news. This supernatural joy was a sign of angelic presence and divine messages. Psalm 1611 tells us that in God's presence, there is fullness of joy. When angels come close and bring messages from heaven, their joy can mix with our own letting us experience a bit of their heavenly happiness. Similarly, in Luke 10, after the disciples had successfully cast out demons in Jesus' name, they returned with great joy because of their spiritual victories. So, if you suddenly feel a joyful or light feeling during prayer, it might mean that angels are nearby, bringing their heavenly joy to you. Take a moment to enjoy and embrace this happiness as a sign of angelic presence and celebration of what is happening in the spiritual realm. Sign number three, surging strength. A third sign that angels are right by your side is when you suddenly feel an unusual boost of strength and energy during prayer. Have you ever started praying feeling completely exhausted, barely able to keep your eyes open, but then suddenly felt refreshed and full of energy? This experience is similar to what happened to Jesus in Luke 22:43 where it says an angel appeared from heaven and strengthened him. When Jesus was praying intensely in the Garden of Gethsemane, he was exhausted and in deep anguish. But the angel's arrival gave him supernatural strength, helping him to continue and fulfill his purpose. When you feel your tiredness disappear and strength taking its place during prayer, it's a sign that angels are there, supporting you and renewing your energy. This kind of strength often comes when you're in the middle of spiritual battles or tough times. Just like Jesus was in a moment of intense spiritual struggle, you might be facing your own challenges. Angels can show up to fortify you, giving you the power you need to keep going. Even if you feel drained and weak, like after a long fast, angels can bring a sudden surge of strength to help you overcome. As Ephesians 6.10 says, Be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Remember, you're not alone in your toughest moments. Angels are there to support and strengthen you, helping you to face and overcome your challenges. 
Number four, flickers of light. Another sign that angels might be with you is noticing subtle glimpses of light when your eyes are closed during prayer. In the Bible, angels are often described as glowing, radiant beings full of light. For example, in Matthew 28, the angel at Jesus' empty tomb is described as looking like lightning, with a brightness that is hard for us to fully understand. When angels come near, you might catch faint glimmers of this light even with your eyes shut. This isn't just your imagination. It's a way of sensing the presence of angels in the spiritual realm, even if they are not visible to your eyes. Psalm 104, 2 says, The Lord wraps himself in light as with a garment, and angels, who are always in God's glorious presence, shine with this same brilliant light. When angels come close, their light can overlap into our world. You might notice small flashes or hints of light as you pray deeply. These brief glimpses of light can be signs that heavenly beings are near. The light doesn't have to be a huge blinding flash. Even small, subtle glimmers are important and meaningful. So, the next time you're praying with your eyes closed, pay attention to any faint traces or flickers of light you might see. These small glimpses could be signs of angelic visitations, showing that angels are indeed present and surrounding you. Sign number five, physical manifestations. The fifth sign that angels are right there with you is when you actually experience supernatural manifestations that you can perceive with your natural senses. Sometimes, angels partially materialize or even take on a physical form that is visible, audible, or tangible to us. For example, in Genesis 18, Abraham had an encounter with three angels who appeared as ordinary men. Abraham saw them with his natural eyes, spoke to them, and even prepared food for them to eat. Similarly, in 2 Kings 6, Elisha prayed for his servant's eyes to be opened, and suddenly, the servant could see the mountainside filled with fiery angelic horses and chariots that were previously invisible to him. Because angels are spirit beings, they can choose to manifest in our physical world in ways that we can sense. When God wants to make their presence known to us, angels may take on a visible, audible, or tangible form. This can happen while you are fully awake, not just in dreams or trances. You might even hear an angel speaking God's message to you. When angels manifest in these supernatural ways, our physical senses act like spiritual antennas picking up on what's happening in the unseen realm around us. If you notice these angelic signs, respond by boldly praising God for sending His holy messengers to minister to you. It's important to read scriptures that affirm the existence and role of angels as heavenly helpers. Then, make your request known to God so He can instruct the angels on how to assist you according to His perfect will. Remember to wait quietly at times with an expectant heart listening for any personalized messages that angels may deliver directly from God's throne room. Above all, do not shrink back in fear when you feel angelic activity. Instead, enter into it with faith and awe, thanking the Lord for confirming His presence and supernatural assistance in your life. Our faithful God is always closer than we realize, and angels are His secret agents working wonders on our behalf every single day. Though they are usually unseen, we are blessed with glimpses of their activity through signs like these. Psalm 103, 20 tells us that angels respond instantly to the voice of God's word. So consistently speak scriptures, make declarations, and decree the promises of God over your life. This activates the angels and aligns heaven's resources with your prayers. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you love our videos, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel.